in February 2010 and my husband was posted in Patna at that time. I came from work and she said, I have high colored urine. She presented to us with deep jaundice and while we were investigating her, we found that uh, she had a pancreas, a periampillary carcinoma of the pancreas, which essentially means the junction at where the uh, common bile duct and the pancreatic duct meets, that area, that is where the uh, cancer was. So we went to her and told her, she says she's 78, so it will be a problem. So since she was 78 years old, there was a lot of discussion happening whether she would be able to undergo the kind of surgery such a condition requires because uh, in uh, such a condition uh, you would advise a procedure called Whipple's procedure which is known to be one of the most challenging uh, surgeries uh, that are done in, in our practice. When all her blood, blood counts and all reports came, all everything was normal and she says if she's that Fine, let's go ahead with surgery. Uh, the next time that I see her is two years after this episode and this time she comes back with a lump in the breast. And the lump in the breast comes, in, comes to light only because there was some bleeding from the uh, breast uh, which her daughter-in-law noticed and that is how it came to notice. tumor was not very big but it had ulcerated at a point and the lady was sure she didn't uh, want any extensive treatment so did a mastectomy a modified radical mastectomy and uh, she was uh, she had a couple of nodes positive but then with the family it was decided that she was not going to have any chemotherapy she was admitted on fourth day fifth day she was undergone surgery on seventh day she was home so if you ask me what worked for this lady, I think uh, it was her tremendous willpower, which is something I know. The strong-willed ones always tend to do better than those who are withdrawn, don't want to talk about it, don't want to deal with it, don't want to hear about it. But this lady took it head on. Uh, she was never the complaining kinds. She accepted the situation the way it was. She dealt it in the most uh, amiable manner she was she, would, she knew it was, it was a problem, she knew that she had to undergo surgery, there would be issues with that, but she never backed away from it. So she took it head on. So that is a great attitude to have. I think I, she's an inspiration for us, because she's a real, real fighter.